GPS count? Look what I picked up. Come on, we have to decompress him. I think it's a soldier. We'll know soon enough. Come with me. I know a place where the walls don't have ears. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Let's try to decompress this one. Anything I can do to help? Yes. Be quiet and try not to disturb me. In Alan Dwan Ar Ais. Verder and the Kelter! Who are you? What am I doing here? It's a bond. <laughs> You're exhausted. Always happens with compression. Get some rest. Yes, I should. Once you've recovered a bit, you should find Ambassador Varatra. He's sure to help. Good luck. That was interesting. And exhausting. Oh, to fall onto a feather bed and sleep till... Well, till I woke. Margarita want to speak to me. Don't waste any time, do they? I don't like this. Neither do I. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Think of me as part of the decor. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. We are saddened our dear Sheila will not join in this endeavor. But the circumstances preclude any prolonged mourning. What is your decision? Will you join us? As before? I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet? You were a child then, and we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership.
The Lodge of Sorceresses has been outlawed throughout the continent. Joining them means facing persecution, always being on the run. Kings die, realms fall, but magic endures. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalark for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I don't trust him, I don't trust you. But that doesn't matter. Siri decides. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection, but you shall be your own rudder, captain, and ship. And unlike Avalar, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... Let's get some fresh air. So? I don't know. Don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk. I hope she's... She'll be fine. She's tougher than we think. You ought to visit Avalok. He wished to see you, apparently. The night. lately. In mistake. Oh! Need a hanky? Gotta admit, never expected this of you. You humans have hmm, unusual tastes. How did you fare on Bald Mountain? Need to ask? You're a sage. I ask as a courtesy. A concept you clearly forgot when you left without uttering a word. Siri was in a hurry. I know, so she wrote in her letter. But that is not my concern. You eliminated Imlareth adeptly. So adeptly you might say you inspired me. Meaning? The loss of one of his great generals has weakened Eredin significantly. Two others remain. How do we get rid of them? Caranthia is a loyalist, but Gels, that is another story. He was a devoted follower of our former king. And as it happens, Eredin poisoned our beloved ruler. Regicide. Serious stuff. Take it not many know about this. Of the living? Only I. And Eredin, of course. Question is, can you get Gels to believe you? Nothing you need worry about. Fine. So what do you propose? Why, to bring Gels here? Show him the truth of what happened? Fabulous plan, if we only knew where to find him. We do. In the land of the NL. I think you're forgetting something. You and Siri might know how to travel between worlds, but me? Not so much. You clearly know there are many other worlds apart from the one where we now stand. They're linked by passages, hidden gateways that afford travel from one world to another. Of course, few know of these gateways. Even fewer can locate them. Elven sages, for example? For example. One such passage will open soon near where we are, fortuitously enough. Between this noble edifice and the butcher's yard. That's our chance. Shall we go? Let's go. I know this house. Supposed to drive a godling from here. Supposed to? Decided it was harmless. This is the place. Once we enter, 
There'll be no returning until we reach Gels. Ready? Yes, let's go. Remember, wherever you land, search for a place that looks like this one. We shall meet sooner or later. Mean we'll be separated? It's possible. I lack your ward's talent. Zirel is the lady of time and space. I merely know how to use this arcane knowledge to a limited degree. It's time. Welcome to the Diderwet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Come, you must go. What is this place? A very old world, thoroughly raped and destroyed. Anything live here? Mainly desert creatures, able to survive months on end without water. Oh, and large sand crabs beneath the surface. We must be careful they don't sense us. And before? Were there any people? Or elves? Do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? So what did live here? Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of a sea. Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. Trying to say that... That there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so in fact than you humans. But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world. To the last drop. Ah, the portal. Looks more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? For it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful.
death if I don't hide somewhere. And I gotta find that next passage quick. If I can just find cover along the way, I should make it to the passage. like this. Someone must have lit it. With any luck, it was a certain grouchy elven sage. Snow's up to the rooftop. Wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing. you a while? Did you run into trouble? Uh, no. Just taking in the sights. What is this place? Feels like I've been here before. You have. You fought Eridan's projection here. Before that, Ciri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Siri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. Did Aridan start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? <sighs> what would it have changed? Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. 
funnel it open. Shortly. of Awakening, formerly the Moon Palace, Gel's headquarters. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate it. Elven architecture is a bit more sophisticated. I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. Be a dear and leave us alone. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Crivana, Spain, at Coman Maca and the Witcher of Rivia. Ketman. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Crivan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Didn't come here for tea. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here. Quite the surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. No, but honesty is not a facet of your species, so quit spewing bile won't gain you anything. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me. So I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. You've been a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. your pseudo-sophisticated courtesy. Let's go. Where to, if I might ask? To the world of the Enche. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Cyril. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised, where is it? 
you will see it in your dream. Ah, yes. The Aneromancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eridin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eridin? Call for revolution and proclaim Avalach our new king? Don't flatter yourself. Defy Eridin. That's all you need to do. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. And why not? Face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargofair. Eridin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no Enhel will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tin Aliar will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalarch knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let Gales go too easily. Can never be too careful. Agreed. Yet I do believe Gels will keep his word, withhold support from Eredin. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Gather everyone and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige.
Nothing to Sammy Reaper. What's the hurry? Oh, God. A Reaper's come for me. This life. Your market just ain't like any I've ever seen. Maybe one of them hard thugs. Who the knows? seas are tossing, tossing! And the wind <laughs> keeps blowing, Fuck. blowing! <laughs> You're late to the band, yeah. so strap in the mouth. This is unfair. Working, mate. It's true. <laughs> you that madman wanted a sound to skip. Help protect Siri from the wild hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. Bit about fringilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. How's Rita now? Barely got out of prison herself. She spoke to Fringilla before they imprisoned her. Fringilla said that the Emperor had summoned her and she'd explained why after the meeting. No one's heard from her since. Thought this kind of drama only happened around Radovid. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come, they're all waiting for us.